Hi and welcome, I'm Lisa. Thanks so much for joining me on my YouTube channel or blog for another card video. Today I'm sharing some really cute Pink and Main products along with a few other items that will be linked below and you can find them listed on my blog post as well. So here's a quick look at the Pink and Main Super Size Stamp and Coordinating Dies from their July release. This set is full of punny sentiments and cute images. I'm using the Pizza Slice along with the Pizza My Heart sentiment. And I thought their Puzzle Heart die would work great with this. I love when I get the chance to use products that play off each other so well. I'm using 80 pounding a cardstock in Memento Ink in the color Tuxedo Black because I'm going to be doing some coloring with Copics. So I'm using the Misty, but you can stamp this easily with an acrylic block. So I'm stamping the pizza slice six times and I'm keeping the slices as close to each other as possible without overlapping them. I will end up with an empty space there and that's exactly what I want. So I stamp one slice of the pizza off to the side so that I can color and die cut it a bit later. I'm using E31 to fill the crust of the pizza and I'll be coming back and adding more color to the crust so I'm not being too fussy about this first layer. I want to make it look like there's a bit of sauce on the pizza so I'm using E09 and adding a very thin line over the side crust just tracing the curves of the cheese making sure to stay on the crust and then I lightly go back over the E31. Now I'm going to start building some color on the crust using E37. I put a very thin line around the edge of the crust and I follow that with E35, another thin line overlapping the E37. I'll follow with E33, laying down another thin line and slightly overlapping that over the E35. I'll finish this side off with E31 and repeat the process on the other side of the crust. I'll finish this off with E31 to blend it all out. Coloring the pepperoni, I'm using R24 and I'm filling in each pepperoni completely, making sure to stay within the lines. I trace the inner edges of the pepperoni using E09. Using R39, I start laying down the smallest specks of color and I repeat this with E07 and then back with R24. For the cheese, I'm starting with W00 and laying a thin line around the edge of the cheese and pepperonis and I follow this with W01 and W03 and then back to W00 to blend it all out. I go back in and add a Y21 over the warm grays I just laid down and then I smooth out the crust a bit more with the E31. I went ahead and die cut the pizza slices using the pizza, the puzzle heart die. I lay the die onto a piece of acetate and trace around to trim it down. And since I'm removing a piece of the puzzle to create a window for a shaker, I put a small dot on that piece with a pencil, just as a little reminder. I'm going to be laying down sequin tape on the back of the die cut heart, making sure to not apply the tape over the puzzle piece I'm removing. And that small dot I added earlier is a reminder to avoid that piece when applying the tape. The tape will hold the puzzle pieces together and adhere the acetate. Once I have the back covered, I remove the puzzle piece for the window. And I adhere the acetate pressing down firmly. So I kept that piece in place so as not to disturb the other pieces while I was working with the tape. So once I flipped this over, I decided that was a lot of white and I wanted to tone it down a bit. So I went in and I added G43 around the pizza slices. And then I went in with G99 to add shading. And then I just went back over with G43 to blend it all out just a little bit. And I really do love the way this looks. Whenever I think of Pizza Parlor, I think of the colors red, green, brown. It's just me. So I'm going to add 3D mounting foam to the back, avoiding the window area. 
I'm also going to take the time to trim any extra acetate that's hanging over the edges. I want to clean all of that up at this point. So I'm going to be using the Pink and Main Pattern Maker Stamp Set. This is a fun stamp set and I think it's always a good idea to have stamp sets like this in your stash so that when you need to add little um, elements to your card you can pull those out and use them. And I'm just going to use the stamp with the three lines from the stamp set and I'm stamping it on the top and bottom of a four and a quarter inch by four and a quarter inch 110 pound card base and I'm using a khaki ink. So uh, you see me laying post-it paper down and that's just to mask off the edges of the cards where I don't want to stamp. So here's a look at what we have so far. And I'm ready to go ahead and adhere the pizza to the card base. So what I'm gonna do is lay the puzzle piece behind the heart and center the heart. When I have it where I want it, I carefully lift the heart, leaving the puzzle piece behind, and I hold it in place while lightly tracing around the corners to mark where the sequence will go. This will also make it pretty easy for us to put our card, our, our die cut heart back down on our card base. So just lay a few sequins down within those lines and then remove the backing off of the heart and go ahead and press it firmly to your card base. So we had a single slice of pizza that we colored. Now we're ready to die cut it just by laying it with the die on our cutting plate and running it through our machine. I do add 3D mounting foam and I adhere it to the top right corner of the card and be sure to place it so that your shaker is peeking out. So for our sentiment, I have a piece of craft, craft paper in my Misty. I've aligned the stamp, I've put down anti-static powder, I stamped my sentiment using a wow embossing pad, added white embossing powder to the sentiment, and I heat set it. I then trimmed the sentiment down with a paper trimmer, added 3D mounting foam to the back, centered on the lower part of the pizza puzzle, and I pressed firmly to adhere to the card base. And I'm going to add three sequins that are leftovers from the shaker. And I do believe that's a wrap for this video. I hope you enjoyed joining me and that you were inspired enough to create something amazing today. I want to encourage you to leave any comments or suggestions below. And I do hope you'll hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new content to my channel. Be sure to subscribe to my website to have access to my videos before they are published to the public. As always, know I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, and until next time, my crafty friends, keep crafting.